Who's That Waifu? It's Monica Elmenreich. For the last few days I've been struggling to write this review. Not because I didn't like the game, but because I liked it far more than I thought I would and I just couldn't figure out exactly why I liked it so much. I'm not entirely sure why even now. It takes place in the same world as the Island trilogy, has many of the same or similar mechanics, and even has a lot of returning characters. The Island trilogy, which I guess is now a quadrilogy, is my favourite in the Atelier series, but whereas the previous three had wonderful English dubs, the Lua is voiced in Japanese only. I, of course, have nothing against Japanese audio with subtitles, but I did think that it would affect my enjoyment in some way simply due to the change in experience that I'm used to with my favourite group of Atelier games, but it didn't. So for the uninitiated, Atelier is a very long-running RPG series built on three core elements, crafting, gathering, and battle. But other than crafting, which takes the form of alchemy, you most likely know about Atelier thanks to its large cast of cute anime girls that take centre stage in the story. Atelier has always occupied that mid-tier region of gaming. The developers, Gust, have limited budgets and work to very tight deadlines, and you can normally see where sacrifices have been made. They don't break new ground graphically, instead opting for a heavily stylized, tried and true style that works for the type of game they are making, and they'll often lack a little polish. Not in the sense that there are lots of bugs or anything, but transitions, animations, and just the general feel could be smoother. It's tricky to explain, but I'm sure you've experienced something like it before. In regards to Atelier Lalua, it's quite remarkable the game Gust have managed to make in less than one year of full-time development, which started in July 2018. It's remarkable because this game is freaking good. There are 11 total chapters in the game, and I'd already clocked in nearly 20 hours by the end of chapter 4. The reason for this is something brand new in Lalua. You may have heard about the infamous deadlines in the Atelier series, where quests, side content, and even the main story have deadlines that relate to the in-game clock and calendar. I haven't had a problem with deadlines in Atelier for quite some time because they have essentially only been there as a series tradition and made very generous, but Lalua drops deadlines altogether. At first I thought there were deadlines that I just hadn't noticed, like the last few entries, but in Lalua they are replaced with the Alchemy Riddle. The Alchemy Riddle is a mysterious book that Lalua happens upon at the start. In story terms, the pages are blank for everyone except Lalua, and every time she runs into a problem, the Alchemy Riddle reveals more text to help her find a solution. In gameplay terms, the Alchemy Riddle is a way to track your progress through the story, provide side content, and give you goals to work towards. It's a brilliant system thanks to it being woven into every facet of the game. It would only be half as compelling if it wasn't a large part of the story itself. To simplify it, both main story and side goals are listed and revealed throughout the story. Goals are pages in the Alchemy Riddle book that have to be deciphered by completing two tasks that you're given hints for. Completing side goals unlocks advanced goals, and clearing everything available in a chapter will provide bonuses. It's this system that made me clock so many hours in the game as a whole. I became slightly obsessed with completing the Alchemy Riddle. I had heard that Japanese fans thought Lalua felt rushed, but I certainly have not felt that way in the slightest. All Atelier games are rushed in a sense, yet Lalua felt like really a much larger game than I ever expected. The final two chapters are about as rushed as the game gets, and you will have more than got your money's worth by the time you make it there. One question that is begging to be answered is whether or not you need to play the first three Atelier Island games before this one, and it's a tricky question to answer. I think you'll get the most out of Lalua if you do have some experience with the other Island games, but I'd hesitate to say that it's an outright necessity to enjoy Lalua in its own right. Combat is turn-based, and there are a few new mechanics that seek to liven up what is usually a very basic turn-based system. It is rather quick for turn-based, and there is some strategy involved. You can arrange your party as frontline members or support members, and each character operates in a unique way in both positions. Some members, while in the backline, can heal or remedy status effects, while others might only make follow-up attacks. There is a new interrupt system as well, but the less said about that, the better. It allows you to use 
use a pre-equipped item on command even if it's not your turn, assuming you have the resources. It's just not a very compelling or useful mechanic and I often found myself ignoring it. Before wrapping up, I should probably speak briefly about the performance on the Switch. The frame rate is locked to 30 FPS and as far as I can tell maintains it pretty well, with the only noticeable dips happening in certain cutscenes when it really doesn't matter all that much. I can't tell you exactly what resolution the game runs at, but I can tell you the game looks clean and crisp in both handheld and docked mode. I played a significant amount of the game in both modes and found them both to be equally enjoyable. So would I recommend Atelier Lalua to fans of the previous Arland games? Yes. Would I recommend it to people who haven't played an Atelier game before? Also yes. Atelier Lalua is a really great entry in this series. The removal of deadlines will seem like a godsend to people who have been avoiding Atelier up to this point, and the alchemy riddle is compelling in more ways than one. I enjoyed the story, I enjoyed the characters, I may even go out on a limb and say that this is the best Atelier game to date. The future of the series looks bright and I can't wait to see Atelier Razor and where they go from here.